Why, hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV on Playframe. Good news, I found some more fires to put out. It's great, everything's going bad again. Just like old times. Okay, let's go talk to Thancred. See what the next plan is. Thancred has lost all patience with Lord of Manolin. Hey, and who can blame him? I have no desire to wait for the Lordling to emerge from his puddle of self-pity. We have important matters to attend to in Ishgard. Well, all right then. Let's go there. To deliver the great news to Sir Emmerich. Good news, everyone. Everything's gone wrong. Without exception. I guess Amanolan got punched, so that part was okay. You were expected, sir. Pray, proceed. So... We received troubling reports from Falcon's Nest. What befell you there? Well, I'm okay, but... Otherwise... Word of the demonstration and its resolution outstripped you, Dermon. Every man, woman, and child of Ishgard has heard the tale. Tis rumored that my youngest lack of judgment was to blame. Of course, such stories are prone to exaggeration. What exactly came to pass? No, the rumors pretty much have the right of it. I see. So that is the truth of it. Regardless of his intent, the result is undeniable. He has furthered the cause of these misguided few who cannot let go of the past. In an instant, the delicate peace we were poised to forge is once more beyond us. To dwell so deeply on the war and the vengeance it begets, only for that too to be taken away, is it any wonder that they were left bereft? For what was this sacrifice? Have we not to show for our suffering? I thought peace a sufficient salve, but mayhap I was mistaken. We are warriors, Lord Edmond, and ours is a nation built on centuries of warfare. Right or wrong, this is who we are, and we deny it at our peril. To hold on to the past without being beholden to it. Aye, we must needs find a way to honor the sacrifice of our forefathers without glorying in their excesses. A difficult path, to be sure. We dare not deny the scars which mar our nation's soul, lest we spur other disillusioned souls to retrace them. But, as you say, we dare not revel in the past glories either, for they are tainted all. A clear, unambiguous enemy and an undeniably righteous cause. Tis a bitter reflection, but lies though they were, they did long serve to unite us. No truth will ever serve as well, I fear. Yet, we are not without options. At our last meeting, a proposal was tabled by the other members of the Aeorzean Alliance for joint military exercises, to strengthen the ties between our nations, and test our readiness to meet with a common threat. I had thought to delay these exercises until after the peace conference, but mayhap a grand melee would be just the thing to lift our beleaguered spirits. Better still, an occasion for the Temple Knights and the Watch to take the field as allies, a unified Ishgardian force filled with men and women from all walks of life, which would stand against a coalition of the allied nation's finest. Hosted by Ishgard, in the shadows of the Gates of Judgment, a victory under such circumstances would serve as a reaffirmation, nay, a declaration to all and sundry that we are as strong and united as ever. Such a victory would do much to fan the flames of patriotism, it is true. But if we should be defeated, though even to hold our own against the cream of three nations might be presented as a triumph. Very well. You may count on my support for what little it is worth. However, I have a request. I would have my son Emanolin take part in the Grand Melee. 
By his deeds has he brought shame upon Ishgard, and so by his deeds I would have him bring our nation honor. As you wish, my lord. If that is his desire, then it shall be so. Now then, we have no time to lose. Dermon, would you be so kind as to deliver my instructions to Lucia? I shall write to the Alliance leaders at once and begin making arrangements for the Grand Melee. Should you chance to see my son, pray and inform him of his duty. If he's not already returned, he will soon enough, making every effort to avoid me. I'll keep an eye out. It's a plan, then. See this? If you're a fan of a specific strain of Final Fantasy, the uh, Final Fantasy Tactics type, or to a lesser extent, maybe the Final Fantasy XII's and some of the others that get a little bit more, like, a little bit more out of their drama, out of political intrigue and the complexities of balancing the needs and wants of a whole bunch of entities and making political moves and stuff like that. There's a complexity to that kind of storytelling that can be really interesting and that, that that's why I really enjoy Final Fantasy Tactics or a lot about it. And uh, we're really starting to get into some of that here too. Oh, we have been, but like this stretch especially really leans hard on that sort of thing, which I really like. I like the complexity of a story where just beating the bad guy does not instantly solve the problem. If anything, most of the problems are still there, and maybe you might have amplified a couple of problems by doing a good thing. Like, uh, it's that focus on ramifications and consequences and long-term effects and stuff like that. That kind of long-form storytelling stuff is something that I really enjoy in 14 and that they tend to do a very good job with. So, uh, yeah, sorry, I had to gush for a bit. Anyway, thank you. So that is their solution. A grand melee to unite the people. And what part would they have you play in this affair, I wonder? You, whom they've taken into their confidence, upon whom they've come so heavily to rely. And will you oblige them when the proposition's made? Proposition, different word. Will you stand for Ishgard once more? Um, we've come this far, have we not? I will stand with for my friends and comrades, not a nation. It is getting to be a bit much, isn't it? That one feels right. I will stand for my friends and comrades, not a nation. A poor choice of words. For friends tried and true, then. The living and the lost. So, for this grand melee of his, Sir Emmerich wishes to field a force comprising both his Temple Knights and Hilda's Watch, yes? I can only imagine what she will have to say about that. In fact, curiosity compels me to go and see for myself. And... Me too, I guess. Well, after I talk to Lucia. Hello. Well met, Dermon. Have you spoken with Sir Emmerich? I was aware of the Alliance's request. So, Sir Emmerich would turn these exercises into a spectacle for the masses. It's not that I doubt the efficacy of such a plan. Indeed, I know its effectiveness only too well, having witnessed it firsthand. Nevertheless, he has not once given me reason to doubt his intentions, and these are desperate times indeed. I will select knights for the event forthwith. As for the watch... Did he now? How considerate of Master Thancred to seek out our young watch commander of his own volition. Alas, he acted prematurely. Pray deliver this list of watch candidates to Hilda. I would have her best men, not her most dispensable. You got it. Thank you, wait up. I have more information. Hmm? I thought you had something to discuss with the first commander. I did, which is why I'm here. Thancred's been telling me all about Sir Emmerich's Grand Soiree. Greth, what did I say? Grand Soiree. Thancred's been telling me all about Sir Emmerich's Grand Soiree. Seems we're expected to join in. It's nice of him to invite us and all, but I hope he knows what he's doing because we ain't dressed to dance with professional bleeding soldiers. I have a letter. Correspondence from Lucia, addressed to you. Which is why I'm giving it to you, you see. Well, well. Seems the first commander's gone and hand-picked her guests. Can't say I disagree with her choices, though. She's got a good eye. Will you be fighting, too? Reckon it'd inspire the lads if you were. 
Might take their minds off getting their hides tanned and all. Think about it, huh? I hate to ask, but you haven't seen our favorite lordling, have you? <sighs> I thought not. On the assumption that he's not to be found in his father's loving embrace, I suggest we split up and look for him. I'll search Foundation, and you the pillars. Okay. Let's go find him. Oh, Lordling. Where art thou? Are you up here or down there? You're probably down there, actually. Yeah, I think I guessed wrong. Shortcut! Ow. There you are. So, what's up? I carried Honorwa to the manor. Our best chirurgeons are tending to him as we speak. He has yet to wake, but surely, surely he will. So father has volunteered me for this grand melee of theirs. <sighs> my beloved family, always making my decisions for me. No, it, it's not like that. It's just... Oh, you wouldn't understand. How could you? You're free to be the man you want to be, whereas I... I... I'm a son of House Forton, don't you see? My future was determined before I was born. What I could and could not do. Right or wrong, that was the way of it. Until the old order began to crumble. Now we wander amidst the rubble, searching for a purpose. For a place. All around me... Brave men and women rise to the occasion. With faith and conviction, they dedicate themselves to their causes. But not I. I was terrified of making the wrong choice, which is why I let better men make them for me. Do this, do that, take this duty, guard this conference. I suppose I'd convinced myself I was above it, until your friend showed me otherwise. When I saw Onowa, I wanted to scream. I wanted someone to blame. But in the end, there was only me. Only me. So you see, I cannot meekly bow my head and accept Father's command. Such cowardice is what brought me to this point. I will go to Sir Emmerich, and I will make my own decision. Well, okay, I just... I have my fingers crossed for a specific one, is all. Can I come in? The Lord Commander is not to be disturbed. May I ask what matter demands his personal attention? It's me, dude. It's the same one who's always... You would dare not let me in. I see. Very well, you may enter. I should be getting a salute around here. Lord Commander, if I may, I wish to speak with you before the Grand Melee. Proceed. How do you do it, my lord? How do you lead with such certainty when so many of our countrymen will not hear of peace with the Dravanians? Some of them hate you almost as much as the dragons themselves. They decry you as a patricide in the streets. They even tried to kill you, for God's sakes. Yet still, you march on, undaunted, where no archbishop dared to tread. What is your secret? Where do you find the strength? For centuries, our nation has been punished for the sins of our forefathers. If our punishment is to end, I believe we must right the wrongs of antiquity and move forward as a nation united. Needless to say, my father did not share this opinion. He did not believe the people strong enough to bring about their own deliverance, trusting only in himself. Tyranny seemed to him the only solution. But I have faith in the people, Lord Amanalane. I have faith that they will weather this storm and overcome every trial we set before them. Many have fought and died to see this blight upon our nation's history cleansed, and I would not let their sacrifices be in vain. Though we invite reprisals, 
the risk is worth the reward. I want to believe, I do. Lord Commander, through my careless orders, a pall has been cast over these proceedings, and I beg the opportunity to make amends. I, Amanelaine de Forton, do hereby request leave to take part in the Grand Melee. Who am I to deny such a heartfelt plea? We would be honored to have you join the fray, my lord. You will take charge of the Ishgardian forces. For all my other responsibilities, I am still Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, and I would not soon yield this duty to another. The esteemed Sir Emmerich leading the Temple Knights and the Watch into battle along with my youngest. I could wish for no more. Then you wish for too little, my lord. There is another who might yet join the fray. An indispensable ally to whom we owe much and more. An adventurer beholden to none who nevertheless chose to champion our cause, who has shared in our suffering and in our glory. A warrior without equal, who I am privileged to call a friend. There is no one I would rather have fighting by my side. I ask this in full knowledge of your obligations, and will not think less of you should you refuse. But if your conscience will allow it, might you oblige me, my friend, one more time. Well, because you asked so nice. <sighs> Together we shall give the people a spectacle for the ages. A celebration to mark the dawning of a new era. There's that optimism again. I needed a dose. How are you feeling? Gods help me, I think it might be love. I dare say it might be cheating, too. Your mere presence is enough to turn the tide of most battles. And did you see the way his eyes lit up when you nodded? It was a look of boundless relief and joy. One would think a politician more practiced at concealing his emotion. Still, his honesty does him credit. For a moment I was fair inspired to pledge myself to the cause. But that would be improper. This is their fight, and yours, but... Not mine. Fair enough. You're giving me an awful lot of good stuff these days. Seems like to me. All right, let's have a quick look-see. Hmm. It's all right, it's all right. Eh, decent enough shield. Pretty good Dragoon weapon, though I don't know if I'm gonna be a Dragoon ton longer. I think I will take these. Yes. Perfect. The Grand Melee is poised to begin, and Lucia would not be late. Ah, oh, so soon. Y'all work fast. Sir Emmerich informs me that the Alliance leaders have agreed to his proposal. The Grand Melee will be held here, in the shadow of the Gates of Judgment and in sight of the capital. An announcement's been made, and Allied forces are currently en route. The eyes of Ishgard are upon us, Derman. We must not fail. A rare opportunity to see you pit yourself against al allied forces. Outside of Cartano, perhaps. I would not miss this for the world. All right, then. Let's go get ready to knock some heads together. But in a sporting way. This should be a fun time. Ah, everyone's gathered. It ain't often highborn dandies deign to fight alongside us hoi polloi. Like all our name days rolled into one it is. 
then again, it's our national pride that's at stake. National and personal. I ain't about to let a snotty-nosed lordling show me up. That's the spirit. The second commander and Hilda's lieutenants shall see to the security of the city in my absence. The melee demands my undivided attention. It is a matter of pride for the Alliance as well. They will not scruple to send their best against us. Yet we must not be cowed. Too much rests on our success. That's true, we really could use a win out here, couldn't we? It looks to be a veritable who's who of the Aeorzean Alliance. The only question is, who came to watch and who came to fight? Hmm, Nanamo. Definitely Nanamo. <laughs> I'll take that bet. All right. Are we ready? There he is. I say, when you didn't appear, I began to question... Nothing. Never mind. <sighs> to think that we are mere moments away from facing the cream of Aeorzea's soldiery in battle. That I am... Mere... Hmm. But what if... Oh, what am I saying? I have to stop imagining the worst. I must think of the victory, of the glory, of the stories I'll tell Onorwa when he awakes. There. Yeah, psych yourself up however you must. It's awful snowy out here, but I guess that's kind of the default, isn't it? Okay. To friendly battle. I'm ready, old boy. Are you? Yes, I am. By the fury, how could I forget? Father bid me present this to you. I know it's sudden, but we believe the men would find it inspiring if you bore the colors of House Forton into battle. Pray do us this honor. During the Grand Malay, some of your gear will be glamoured. Your attributes and abilities will not be affected. Oh, well, okay, I was kind of all decked out in Ishgardian colors, but... I'm a team player. Oh, hey, the sun came out. And everyone's here. Looking good, Derman. Huh. Doesn't look too bad on me, actually. Let all here present heed well the rules of engagement. The Grand Melee is a large-scale battle in which an allied company of Uldan, Gridanian, and Lamincen forces will be pitted against a company of Ishgardian forces. When a combatant is incapacitated, the opposing company will be awarded tactical points. Oh, this is a whole thing. The first company to attain the designated tactical rating of 100 points is declared the victor. Uh... During the Grand Melee, officiants may mark certain combatants with the Fury's gaze, which will be indicated by an ethereal tether linking them to their company's flag. While defeating most combatants will award your company one tactical point, defeating marked combatants will award your company ten tactical points. Marked combatants also possess enhanced attributes, rendering them more powerful and more difficult to defeat. Defending and defeating these combatants is the key to victory. Well, this is fun. I'm glad they're actually making kind of a little mini game out of it. For the honor and the glory of Ishgard. I'm assuming this is also like a PvP mode you can engage in, yeah? At some point? I've only done a handful of the PvP modes because I don't particularly enjoy it that much, but I'm pretty sure there's more than I've actually tried. Unimportant. To victory! I do love that you can see <laughs> the little step stool she was given. All is ready then. Very well. Brave men and women of the Eorzean Alliance, let the grand melee begin! It's tough out there for us shorties.
All right, to non-lethal battle. Come on, team. Forward, forward. Ishgard, Ishgard. Yes, that is our side. You're right. Hey, Pippin. We'll talk later. Now's not the time. The fury gaze upon us. Dermin, Lord of Madeline, attend to the marked ones. Hmm, well, there's this one to take out, but is one of our marked ones getting attacked? Oh, yes. Yes, they are. Yikes. Get over there quick. Hey, y'all, pay attention to me, maybe. I'm not a tank, but please, do anyway. Uh-oh. That's not good. Not a good start. It's okay. They fall. Find the next. Press our advantage. Pippin, could you go away, please? I need you to not attack my buddy. It's my buddy. Pippin. Do me a favor. Hey. Pippin. Pippin, not cool. Pippin. Get out of here. Go home. Think about what you've done. Ah, hey, Raban. Don't mind me. Just taking out your uh, veteran here. I need some points. We're behind. I'm just going to put some points up on the board over here. Oh, hey, Monolin. This is going much better now. Hmm. Who else is... Ah, you. Perfect. Go down, please. There we go. Ooh. Another? Oh, it's Pippin now. That's less ideal for me, but fine. It's very loud out here. Oh, no. Don't heal up. I thought I took you out, by the way. Eh, I should probably protect my own people as well. I guess we've got a little bit of a lead here, though. We're okay. Just taking out the healers. There we go. Now for you, fellow short. Hey. Oh, are you not the target anymore? Who's the target now? And I was just about to take you out. Ishgard, rally to the first commander. Oh, Lucia. Okay, here to protect. Fury, guide and protect me. Trying. I mean, I know I'm not the Fury, but I'm going to try anyway. There we go. Where's theirs? I need a target. Stop attacking my teammates. It's going to make it much harder to win. Yo, uh, hey, good to see you. I feel like after all the favors I've done for you lately, you maybe could be a little cooler right now. Leave Lucia alone. Lucia, get healed. Ooh, who else is being marked now? Uh, just a random one. Okay. Ah, finally, they have a target for me to take out. Lovely. Right there! Go down. I need points. And I need to not let them have points. Pippin, stop. We've got a lead, just need to hold it. Oh, I'm the I'm the target now, and Raban's theirs. Oh my. Well here, let's take down oh. Do we win? What the? Cyclops! Cyclops! Everyone on your guard! Hey, you're interrupting. All forces, fall back.
Never mind. One Punch Man over here has got it. Continue the melee. I'll deal with him. He'll be fine. Resume fights. Huh. Daft sod. You heard the man. Back to it. All forces form a line on Derman. Now! My, my. So this is how it's going to be, is it? Lieutenant. I'll not lie, I was hoping it would come to this. So then, shall we dance? Damn it all! Oh, this'll be fun. Even with one arm, he's certainly a fighter. I guess being undefeated in the Colosseum was already pretty good indication of that, but even so. Here goes. We fight the Flame General. Begin. By the fury, it's just the two of them in there. Better pull up text. It's gonna be coming a little faster than I can probably read it. On your guard, Lord of Madeline. Our fight is not yet finished. Yeah, you guys keep on fighting out there. I'll, um... Should have stood in that. Youch. That all you bastards have got? Come on then, give us another. Yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of puddles. Let's not stand in that, huh? Wow, who are these? Goodness. It's a lot of moves. Gods, they just keep coming. But we cannot, will not yield. You hear me, old boy? Don't you dare lose. Trying. And so far, so good, honestly. I love that we get the opportunity to do this, honestly. Yeah. You got such fancy moves. And I love that he gets a chance to demonstrate just how darn lethal he remains. Two arms are one. Wow. Brilliant. Brilliant. You're indeed the warrior of light. But I'm the bull of Alamigo. Ah, jeez. I'm gonna take this all out. I don't know what happens otherwise. Quick! All of them. All of them. Quick. There we go. Got him. Um. I don't feel safe going in there. I'll just bonk you and then hop back out. Strength, Darman! Strength! Now's your chance! Trying! Nah, no. We've got so many danger puddles. Help. So many! Gotta finish it. And... victory! Ah, all right. Take your victory. You've earned it. Did... 
Did he win? Then we... we... Victory is ours! Ishgard! Ishgard! Well fought! Well fought, my friend! You truly are the warrior of warriors. Thank the fury you were on our side. <laughs> oh, my lungs are burning. I can barely stand. I didn't think I could do it, but then I did. We did. We faced the Alliance's best, and together, with one heart, with one purpose, we prevailed. After a thousand years of hardship, of strife and bloodshed, we are strong enough to rise to any challenge, be it on the battlefield or beyond. The future holds so much promise, so much joy. We need only show them the way. Magnificent display, Sir Knight. While doubtless less than pleased, I am quite sure the Grand Companies are honoured to have been bested by such valiant warriors. The honour was ours, Your Grace. I am pleased to see that Ishgard's proud martial tradition is being upheld. When the time comes, I trust you will fight alongside your brothers and sisters in the Eorzean Alliance with the same fervor you displayed in opposing them. I note that our friend elected to take the field in Ishgardian colors. At my behest, Your Grace, if we have given offense, the blame lies with me. Sir Knight, it was a surprise, nothing more. And any hint of ill feeling was thoroughly dispelled by the spectacle of our mutual friend's duel with General Rauban. On the subject of surprises, I could not help but marvel at the passion and unity of purpose displayed by your countrymen, given the troubling reports we have received of late. I shall take that as a compliment, Your Grace. The events to which you allude are the price of change. The end of the Dragonsong War marks the beginning of a new era for our nation and for the people, high and lowborn alike, who will lead her into the future. Ah, yes, the people. Change is indeed a perilous thing. For we who seek it, and they who fear it. I shall pray for Ishgard, and for you. Well, that made for a refreshing change. Congratulations on your victory, by the way. Guardians certainly seem happy with themselves. I, for my part, am merely glad you did not strain anything in the process of single-handedly winning the battle for them. Eh, it was nothing.
It is but a scratch, I assure you. And I will not suffer you to worry over me. Not when we have a dozen far more important concerns. Make that two dozen. Still, as Yestola never tires of telling me, we can but face them head on one at a time. One day at a time. As Minfilia would have done. Ah, well, that was fun. Hey, how are you doing? As long as I live, I shall never forget that duel. It was inspiring and humbling in equal measure. I feel honor-bound to point out, however, that my father was fighting one-handed. All right, I know, I know, I know. Let's get that out of here, please. Thor's balls. I'd forgotten what it was like to feel so alive. Not since leaving the blood sands have I had the privilege. Not since the bull of Alamigo hung up his swords. Back then, the outcome might have been different. But I do not begrudge you your victory. I know how far you've come. How much you've endured. Our fight only confirmed it. We shall have to do this again one day, when time allows. I shall look forward to it. Now, go. Go to the Ishgardians and celebrate your victory. You've earned it. Come, Pippin. Her grace is expecting us. Lead on, father. All right, then. I will head back. Ah! All of you gathered right outside still. The messengers have already been dispatched. Let us pray that this victory has the desired effect. That was just another battle for you, I bet. But for my lot, it weren't so much the fighting as the not tripping over each other's feet. His lordship might think about laying on some actual training for- uh, laying on some actual training for us next time. Yeah, that'd probably be best to do in the future. I confess it stung my pride to be brushed aside so easily. But when the flames subsided and I saw you standing there triumphant, there was only gladness in my heart. Well, I appreciate it. Such a goodbyes. In all the years I've known Raban, I cannot recall ever seeing him look so happy in defeat. Well, everything seems to be falling into place, does it not? The Guardians have claimed their symbolic victory, and the Aeorzean Alliance has been strengthened in the process. Be proud, Dermon. You made this happen. I am, and you're giving me treats. I'll do this one, why not? You have learned the emote Victory! Ah! Hmm, maybe we should give that one a look. Uh, let's see. It's not super often we get new emotes just from doing story things. Um... There we are. Ah, fun. And I think that that's a different animation for every uh, job as well. So every job has their own version of that. That's fun. Well, hmm. We have two more quests to do, I think, in the patch, but I don't know how long they are. So I would say we'll go ahead and call it a day. And when we come back next time, we will complete the 3.2 patch story quests. And it might be short. I don't remember how long they are. Whatever. Take care, everyone. And I will see you next time for that. Goodbye.